right, Dothraki, your Kalzad, leader of the Dothraki Hun Horde, is back, and it's time for us to continue our civilization. The last video, we were just uh, building up our infrastructure, same old, same old, but we, uh, we were able to get our empire happy again with the last social policy that I've been eyeing for quite some time now uh, to finish off the commerce tree. So that's given us the, the uh, monumental increase in happiness. So every single one of our cities right now is currently growing. Washington, we're trying to get to 10. Uh, same thing with Kalzaz, Mount Palenque. Helsinki and Yerevan have both grown. They were both at 5 before. Yerevan's now at 7. Helsinki's at 6. Even these cities over here are growing because we have a uh, courthouse in every single one of them. So, you know, slowly but surely we're growing. Um, but also, I did want to get at least two more cities founded. Now, with our happiness, you know, I still want to grow these cities and I want to stay happy. Um, but at the same time, I got to get at least one of the cities founded. And that would be the city right over here. The reason I want to get the city over here founded is just because I don't trust one of these civilizations coming over here to uh, found uh, a city right there. I, that would just be a pain in the ass. So we're just going to take care of that right now. So in Yerevan, I'm just going to move the Great General out. In Yerevan, I'm just going to purchase a settler. 380 gold. I know it's a little bit, but I don't want to take time to build a settler, and I need it right away. And that way, I won't, you know, uh, like settle, let me just get it. That way, I won't be building one, and our happiness might drop down a little bit more because of the population. We'll just get the settler there right away so we can see what our happiness is. But the one that I want to settle over here, we're going to have to wait until we get a few more uh, uh, coliseums done and zoos. We will get it, but uh, I, let's just one step at a time, okay? And now, also, for the Big Ben, you know, I was asking you guys what we should do. Should we try to build a Big Ben? Is it a waste of time? And uh, you guys were saying, check out the diplomacy for the other civilizations, and you can tell if, because uh, you have to have commerce, you have to have the first one of commerce uncovered to build the Big Ben. All right, so if you look at this, tradition, liberty, exploration, and um, autocracy, no, it's not autocracy, what's the word for that? Uh... Autocracy, yeah, autocracy, there you go. <laughs> I always get these words wrong, autocracy. Um, five, five, two, and three, and no commerce in there. Uh, Egypt, no commerce. Uh, Arabia, no commerce. Uh, Genghis Khan, no commerce. Uh, Bodica, no commerce. And uh, Theodore, no commerce, okay? But I think I found out why all these civilizations are so far ahead in, in the score. Theodore, not so much, but Rome, right? If you look at this, I don't think they have a huge advantage over us. I mean, I, I think the science is there, but we can catch up. But if you look at Theodora, look at all the wonders that they have, right? I mean, Bodica, no wonders. Genghis Khan, no wonders. Uh, Arabia, one wonder. Egypt, one wonder. And then Rome, every other wonder, right? So I'd imagine that they've taken some of these wonders from the cities, right? But uh, I, I think that's why they're in such a lead right now. The social policies that they have and all the wonders that have been giving them the social policies from all the extra culture that they've been getting, right? So I think that's why they're in the lead. I don't think they're in the lead for uh, other reasons than that. We're still exploring, but I still think that we're in a good spot. I really do, okay? So let's just continue here. Uh, what are we doing? All right, so yes, you guys were taking out this barbarian encampment, so there's a little bit extra gold. Uh, you, sir, you're going down to Palenque. This guy was in there, and we have this guy over here. Good. So you guys are now our mobile forces. And I know you guys have been uh, telling me to get better military units. <clears throat> that may be true, but think about it like this. How, uh, hang on, let me just fortify these guys. I'll get the next turn going. But I was thinking, you know, how valuable have I have I uh, made these horse archers out to be? You know, they're the special unit for Attila the Hun. And I've taken them from the beginning and made them pretty much use, useful all the way up until the 1800s. They've been doing a great job for us, taking care of all the barbarians. I agree that we could use a little bit more uh, of a stronger unit, but they're still doing the job. We don't have to have that big of a military out there. They're mobile, they're ranged, so they don't get hurt, so they don't need to heal. And I have them in numbers, right? So I agree we do need a bigger military, but for, for, the, uh, for the barbarian problem, these guys are getting it done. I don't need to change anything. So you're going to go in there, uh, you go right there, and you go right there. So these guys are ready to go. Okay, now Settler. All right, so it's telling us to go right there. That makes sense. One up there where Sigtuni used to be. No, thank you. And uh, it's not telling me to go all the way down there. Yeah, one there and one there. So this first one obviously should go right there. I agree with that. And we're also going to need another military unit to get some happiness in that other city. So look at this. Roman frigate. Oh, hopefully they're not attacking us. <laughs> if they are, there's nothing we can do about it. If they're attacking Amsterdam, we'll have to uh, rebuild here. But 
I got a caravel popping out. I mean, I could pop out a few more uh, military units. This is why we need to get the uh, the fog of war completely done. Whatever. If they attack us, they attack us. I'll have to deal with it. Uh, monument in Rotterdam. Okay, so that's good. That'll give us an, a little bit of extra culture. Give me that uh, granary. I want to grow all these cities. Ivan the Terrible back in Yerevan. There you go. Fortify. All right. Oh, and Kalzad's Mount. We want to we want to build the Big Ben, but we want to get it done a little bit quicker than that. So we'll, we'll let these get to 10, and then, yeah, I'll stop this again. There you go. Production. Avoid. There you go. Once they get to 10. And uh, you know what, Yerevan? You can stay at 7 for now. There you go. Because I think I want to get another city. I want to see if they're declaring war, then I need to stay happy. And if this other city's coming, that's 4. Unhappiness, right? So... Let's just actually go one step at a time here. I'm going to go focus on production for some of these now. Utrecht, you can stop. You can focus on production. There you go. Amsterdam. I'll grow Amsterdam one more. It's a capital. Rotterdam, I'll stop you at five. There you go. These guys, I want to get to ten, though. So Venice and Palenque and uh, Calzad's Mount, I still want to get to ten. And uh, we'll get Helsinki up to seven. Okay? So let's just keep an eye on this frigate right here. Hopefully it's just an exploration unit. Let's see. Remember, they don't have one of their capital cities along uh, uh, or along the coast. Now, they may have taken over a capital city that's along the coast. That's a different story. But it's not like Rome is a coastal city, right? So it's not like they're building up their main battleships or frigates or stuff like that. And it did seem like that frigate went away. So I'd imagine it's just an exploration unit. The more caravels that we get, the more... Uh the more uh, we'll know about this world. Kabul longs for culture, blah, blah, blah. Losing grip on uh, Biblios. Theodore is plotting against Geng Genghis Khan. Can't worry about that. We got intelligence coming in 22 and in 38 turns, so ways away. Fortify yourself. Uh, Caravel, explore. There you go. Fortify yourself. Let's see what this Caravel did. So he's going up there. Okay. Yeah, I noticed this in the last video. But Kabul has got a hell of a navy out here, man. They're not. <laughs> Maybe it's because Vancouver's so close to them. Who knows? Jesus, though. Uh, so we got the Caravel done in Amsterdam. We're going to grow Amsterdam one more. I want to get a few more caravels. Just keep them up. Because the quicker we get the world uncovered, the quicker I can delete all the caravels. And then uh, save some money and just know what we're doing, basically. Okay, so you. i got to get this guy over here. Very good. Well, I want to get another settler right now, just so I don't have the barbarians. The thing is, if I get two cities, it'll take me down to... You know what? Fuck it. I'll just do it. I'll try it out. Yeah, purchase another settler. Let's just get it done. Because that way I can look at the happiness and regauge it. I'm, I'm already stopping. I'm already stunting the growth after all these. You know what? 1-1. One, one. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to have to avoid growth. I don't, I don't want to be unhappy because if they declare war on us and we, we're unhappy, then that hurts us big time. Helsinki, I want to grow. Amsterdam. No, you know what? Amsterdam, I'm going to stop for now. I want to get Helsinki up to 7. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Because Helsinki and Kalzad's Mount are going to grow, and then that'll be down to eight, and then the two cities. Yeah, okay. So let me just, one thing at a time here. Do, I, do we have a copper resource? Because this is a copper resource. It's going to, I think we must. We must have a copper. Some, we don't. Holy shit. We don't have a copper resource. So never mind. When I found this city, it's going to give us four happy. Like, the luxury resource will take care of the city right there. If ever you can, like, found a city beside a luxury resource you don't have to take advantage of the happiness, that helps us. Yeah, and also, World Congress, let me just see this. Repeal, yeah, I definitely want to repeal that. All right, so, uh, scientific theory, so that's good. So now we, I think we've caught up on this, well, not, we haven't caught up on the science, but we've got the technologies that we need to catch up on the science. The next big science building would be what? Uh, plastics to get the research lab, which is a good one, but there's no way we're going to go for the research lab now. Okay, we need to pick up everything else and then uh, catch up and then get the research lab late game. So I imagine you guys want me to go for all this stuff. Down. You know what? Let me pick up navigation so we can get the frigates and the privateers so that we're ready to go with the Navy. Because the next one up would be battleships and that's kind of like, you know, way up here. Yeah, it's over here. It's over here. Battleships are over here. Destroyers are over here. Where's the destroyers? Oh no, destroyers are down here. It's the uh, ironclad, right? So... Let's get the navigation done, and then we'll pick up the gunpowder and all this stuff down. Rifling, dynamite, steam powder. We'll pick up all this stuff, okay? But now we got those uh, those uh, good science buildings that we can build. So you, yeah, I got to find... Thing is, I hope a barbarian encampment doesn't spawn. 
move your ass down there. Settler, you're going to go down here. There you go. So eight happiness now. That will uh, that will take us down when we, uh, what's it called, when we found those two cities. So let me just go back and let's see how quick this gets done now. So Kalzad's mount will finish the Big Ben in 22 turns. If not, we'll get a good payday. Uh, Palenque is already up. Production. Production. And also... Because we're focusing on production uh, so much, unit lists, uh, unit, yeah, yeah, no, 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 great person lists, engineers, look at all these engineers that are going to start coming, I mean, it's going to take 125, 130 turns, 130 for all these, right, but when we get there, right, it'll start to catch up, Washington's only 21 turns away, so we won't need to use them on the Big Ben, but maybe another wonder around the corner, okay, uh, so yeah, we can go, next turn. Now, I can see the bottom uh, right map. You can see how all the ocean is starting to become uncovered. We just need the damn caravels to move around the map. Every, just a few more, like three more, and we can get out there. Constantinople. Constantinople is a uh, harbor. We got a harbor, definitely. Uh, caravels. Yeah, look, I mean, let's see how much ground this guy covers here. Oh, there you go. He's moving. Yeah, see, not that much. Little bit by little bit. Uh, now, let me just bring up my resource icons and yield icons. Where do I want to put this guy? I want to take advantage of that marble resource. I'm pretty sure I already have a marble resource. Hang on. Oh, Jesus. oh my God. Marble, 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 marble. Yeah, I already have two marble resources. So it's not, you know, necessary that I get that. It's more just to make sure that there's no sieves or uh, barbarians spawning over here. Um, Washington, hang on. One, hang on, grid. One, two, three... One, two, three. If I put it right here, I think that would be the best. Yeah, I think right here would be the best. Yeah. All right, so we'll go over here. And you, settler, boom. Settle that city. Attila's Court. There you go. All right, so. And that's a pretty good city, too. You got the fish resource. You got the wheat resource. You got the copper resource. I'd love it if we could build the Petra on this city. But, yeah, no way that's going to happen. All right, so just uh, avoid growth for now. Okay, I know he's on one. You want to get him up there a little bit. Trust me, I get that. But uh, just one step at a time, all right? I just wanted the city more so that no other civilizations spawn here. This is not going to be a powerhouse. Well, it can be a powerhouse city, but not yet. One step at a time. But once we've gotten all the cities done, we won't have to build any more cities, and it will just be growth. Uh, influence over Biblos has dropped, okay? Uh, yield icons and resource icons will turn back off. Okay, windmill coming in one turn, two turns, three turns. There's more production. Uh, zoo, zoo, four turns, five turns, university, monuments, yeah, see, I mean, we can still get zoos done, another caravel coming, I need some more caravels, uh, clearing a forest has given us 20 production for Amsterdam, so that'll, caravel will pop up in one turn now, that's good, okay, oh, look at this, there you go, there is a Roman coast city right there, Rav uh, Ravina, Ravina, and that is one of their cities too, so it's not like it's a city that's, Still got to grow because they uh, take they took it over and all the buildings are blown up or the population is... Well, the population is not that high anyways, but you know what I mean. All right, so there you go. We're getting the narrow uh, sea uncovered a little bit. Melbourne, mercantile as well. So we can now get happiness by purchasing a, uh, a uh, city-state if we needed to. Uh, cargo ship, I'm going to send you back to Ormus. There you go. We also got to focus on gold again eventually. Don't worry, I got my eyes on that. There you go. Remember, we purchased two uh, settlers, which hurt us a little bit. Uh, granary got done in Rotterdam. That's good. Uh, bank. Five population. Let's get those walls done, just in case. Yeah. All right. Windmill done in Venice. Yeah, these are going to cost us some money, these. Uh, public school for science. Yeah, let's, cut off, let's get caught up in science. There you go. We'll get the happiness done eventually. Uh, public school, caravel. Let's get the public school done. Yeah, Amsterdam's got a. I think we got enough caravels out there now. They'll they'll uncover it in enough time. Yeah, I mean, all down here is pretty much done. We just need to get like all this is one big uh, land uh, mass. So I'd imagine there's only a little bit of ground down here that leads to here, and then up same over here. And we already have caravel. We got one caravel over this side, two over this side, one right there, and uh, one right there. I think we're in, we're good for caravels. Maybe one more, but I want to... Uh, no, no, we're done for caravels for now. i got to save money. Yeah, all right, let's go. Next turn. I think I'm going to have to focus on some gold again eventually also because I don't like this. We can do kind of like a back and forth thing, though, where like once I get these uh, windmills done, 
And like once we get down, because if I fo start focusing on gold again, we'll start to make a lot of gold. So I can kind of focus on production, wait till we get down to around 700, and then focus on gold again. Get it back up to 2,000, then focus on production again, right? We can go back and forth like that. Uh, yeah, and these workers are getting working on that copper right away, so that's good news. We also get, to get, get we also got to get the road going from Attila's Court to Yerevan, connect those systems. You can see our workers, they're going to work, man. The workers are really going to work. All right, so we met Monaco. We met, okay, here we go. We've met the rest of the uh, city-states. Yeah, there it is. So here's just a bunch of uh, civilizations announcing to the world that they're protect, uh, protecting this city-state, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we got the university done in Stockholm. That's good. Uh, public school. Let's get that windmill public school. Let's get the public school done. Yeah, let's just, let's get those science buildings done, uh, done now. Windmill, public school. There you go. Public school, public school. Uh, windmill. Happiness, happiness. Is around the corner, public school. Workshop. Walls. Yeah, next turn. Let's keep going here. I'll keep, uh, we'll keep the production until we get down to around 700, and then I'll take care of it. Remember, we can also purchase, uh, great merchants using our faith, right? So, I mean, we're fine for, uh, money. I think I might just want to save up the faith, just in case, though. Or should I just, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna purchase some, uh, I'm gonna purchase some, uh, what's it called? Some great merchants right now. Get one up here in, uh, Kabul, and then get one down there in, uh, in, uh, Ormus from Attila's Court. Yeah. All right, that's what I'll do. So Rotterdam, I need you to purchase a great merchant. Uh, great merchant, there you go. All right, so we purchased a great merchant over there. Now we have our uh, second city that we're going to found. There you go. So we are down to two happiness. I wonder why that's only dropped to two. Huh. Oh, well, whatever. And actually this luxury resource is gonna give us six because it's uh, we don't have it yet in that extra social policy that we have, right? Yeah, it's good. Uh, now, Attila's Court as well. We're going to purchase a... Can I not... I guess I need to have a religious city. Yerevan. Purchase a... Yeah, Great Merchant, 1500 Yeah, I can afford it. You move over here. Purchase Great Merchant. There you go. So we'll start uh, saving up our faith once again. But uh, I want to take care of this gold problem right now. Because I don't want to stop focusing on production. Uh, Bakum. Bagakum. Uh, we'll focus on... Uh, what do we do over here? Uh, monument, all right, monument, there you go. But we're focusing on production and avoid growth for right now. Just because I want to remain happy. I don't want to have any wars to deal with being unhappy. That would not be a good idea right now. Uh, we finished the windmill in Palenque, so you know what, what's next, the public school. So you can see we all we have a bunch of zoos and coliseums still need to be built. But I'm saving that for the end because that's maintenance. And I want to get these science buildings done right now. Okay, so yeah, let's get Yerevan and Helsinki's zoos done. And then we'll uh, we'll be able to tell what our empire is looking at. Look at all these workers in this one area. They are repairing. Remember all these tiles that needed repair? They're going to be repaired nice and quickly. And then Utrecht and Stockholm will be powerhouses as well. But remember, I can delete all the workers and I can delete all the caravels if I need to save money in a in a pinch. The narrow sea, yeah, it's. I mean, that's dangerous, man. You can put like nukes, like late game, right? You can put nukes in Ravina and hit Amsterdam. Basically, you could probably hit. Utrecht, it's a very close two continents. All right, so the most literate people, we are dead last for uh, technologies, all right? That's okay. Remember, that's our plan. Stan, uh, you, you're going to go over here. There you go. You, you're going to go to Yerevan. Back in Yerevan, very nice. Oh, you know what we need as well? We also need two military units, one for Attila's Court and one for Bagakum, so that we can get the extra happiness in the cities and also just protect the cities. Yeah, and you know what? We haven't seen a barbarian encampment rise in a long time, so that's good news. Unless there's one that I forgot about in the last video. I don't think so, though. Uh, Attila's court has adopted a religion. Okay. Uh, Caesar has entered the modern era, so let's just see where that is. Modern era for Caesar. So he's he's got one of these technologies in the next era. Okay, it doesn't mean that he's got everything in this. It just means he's got one in the next one. Okay, so yeah, we got it. It's definitely time to start catching up. Uh... All right, so the second uh, Mecca conference. So we can repeal the salt, and that will give us an extra six happiness. That's good. Or four, maybe, because it already counts it. I don't know. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So we finished the zoo in Yerevan. Next up is the public school. 
Okay, and uh, Levy Straws, get in here. We'll use you in the next turn, get some extra gold. We're making minus 64 gold per turn. It's all the the uh, the building maintenance and the unit maintenance that's popping up. The building maintenance especially, like another zoo that's going to be built. The windmills that were built, right, they cost like two or three gold per turn. The uh, public schools have cost like two or three gold per turn. So we got to get the population up there. The population is the big one now. Uh, no, I will not negotiate open borders. All right, what's going on over here? Oh, my God. Genghis Khan attacking a damn city-state. What else is new? <laughs> All right. You should be going after the damn Romans. Didn't they take out? No, they still have their capital. Never mind. They still have Kakarum. Is, is Kakarum their capital? I think it is. I think it is. I, I, you know what? I don't know. I know I know it's their capital right now, but I just wonder, did Rome take another one, and now that's just their current capital? I think that's their first. Come on, Panama. There's going to be long turns once we have the whole world uncovered and our caravels are watching wars. There you go. He got through. Yeah, he'll be able to get through. So we met Ragusa now. There you go. So we're meeting all the city-states. All right. So conduct trade mission will give us 1,400 gold. Boom. We're back up to above 2,000. So this is what I mean. Commerce definitely helped us finishing that commerce tree. And uh, that's why I want to use it right now. Just We'll just get the gold taken care of. You... There you go, you up here. So he's going to take some time to get down there. We need to get the road going down there. Uh, production, so the workshop in Utrecht, uh, university. All right, so you can see our science is at 231, slowly but surely, once we get all these buildings done. Uh, public school, there you go. All right, so public school, public school, public school, public school, public school, public school, monuments, university, public school, walls. All right, so let's do one more turn just so we can see where it ends. And this is where I need you guys to chime in, you know. Um, let me know everything about this uh, playthrough. Let me know what you guys are thinking. But the science is coming, right? We're in the year 1800 now. We've hit the 1800s. I agree. It's starting to get late game. We need to really catch up because eventually, like, see how we still see privateers out here in cannons and even the Romans, you know, we saw some of those units. They still have uh, ironclads. Eventually, we're going to start seeing battleships and subs and destroyers and aircraft, right? And when we get to that, we need, we're going to need to have somewhat of a military to defend ourselves. Right now, it's good enough to defend what they could bring, because I don't think they can bring too much. But if they, you know, get a, a couple battleships and destroyers, they'll be able to take out Rotterdam, Amsterdam, Utrecht, Attila's Court without even flinching, right? Because we don't have a navy. We need to get a navy into the narrow street, uh, strait. Definitely need a navy. Uh, so we got navigation, which will help us build the frigates and the privateers for a... Uh, 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 a temporary navy, right? Just a few of them out there, which would be good news. Uh, cargo ship. But we should focus on trying to get battleships and subs. Uh, you. Alright, you're going to get over to Attila's Court. So he's moving his way out to Ormus. So we'll be able to get him in the next video. Uh, technology. So we finished, we finished the uh, navigation. Now we can pick up all these smaller ones. So I will just go to... Uh, I'll just go to dynamite because yeah, we want the artillery Yeah, I'll just go to dynamite. We'll pick up all these so you can see I mean we could pick up all these that would catch us up in uh, Technology quite quick now. It's not gonna they're not gonna go quickly I mean five seven seven twelve twelve turns, right? But I'm hoping by the time that uh, that happens we can get all these public schools done And then we can focus on science once the public schools are done. We can focus on science, okay? And then when we're focusing on science, we can get our happiness up and uh, just try to grow our population. Because the more population that you get, the more science. Uh, oh, we got a barbarian encampments spawned over here so we don't have to worry about them. All right, but look at this. You got a, uh, a Roman navy down here. I don't know what they're doing down here, but that's a pretty formidable force right there. Five frigates, an ironclad. All right, they're surrounding this uh, barbarian. You know what? Let me just see something. Uh, walls... We'll get the uh, public school done. There you go. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to go next turn. We'll keep an eye on that, all right? But the uh, Romans, they got a navy down there. So you can see how the rest of the world is starting to uncover them itself. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me, go, let me know. There are the uh, stats for you. So, I mean, we, we're not catching up. Definitely. We're maintaining pace, but that's easy to do when the technologies are uh, are easier to get, right? We need to really catch up with these guys. We got to get this science up to like plus a thousand. All right. It's going to take a lot, but uh, the science should help us. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the next one.